This is Dr. Phil Chavez of the Men's Academy. Brothers, I thought I would say some words about the origins of the new year in the Western world. The Romans were the first to start the new year with the month of January, and it was Julius Caesar who advocated for the first. This month is named after the Roman god Janus, or Janus. That term comes from the Latin Janua, meaning door or gate or entrance. Now the Roman god Janus had two faces in which he could simultaneously look ahead to the future or look back to the past. Even some early Roman coins depict this god's two-bearded face looking in opposite directions. This all remains very interesting and has some rele relevance for us Christians. Men striving for perfection look at the past to view things which must be improved or changed or eliminated altogether. In a pursuit of excellence, it becomes fitting to make goals or set objectives for personal growth and perfection, all to fulfill our Lord's admonition. You therefore must be perfect as your heavenly Father is perfect. Simple human desire even presumes an aspiration to be better on every possible level. Now often men making New Year's resolutions do so with either determination or with half measure. Often some just cross their fingers and hope for the best. To my mind, brothers, making New Year's resolutions appears right, if not almost necessary. Conscious desire for advancement in Christ stands as essential to make the upcoming year better than the past one, of course, with concrete measures in place. And if people didn't make New Year's resolutions, perhaps they wouldn't make much improvement at all. So we owe it to God to make attempts to grow in perfection. But many brothers I know have fears about success and are leery of the unknown. Perhaps each new year has an adventure aspect about it, whereby one must journey with courage like an Abraham or a Moses, or even a Joseph in the Holy Family, not knowing the precise end or the destination. There's this quote of Abraham Lincoln appears right in this discussion. Having chosen our course without guile and with pure purpose, let us renew our trust in God and go forward without fear and with manly hearts. Brothers, God be with you.